Okay, here's a little script that looks up kind of dorky technical jokes. An SQL statement walks into a bar and sees two tables. It approaches and asks, may I join you? Get it, like an SQL join statement, huh? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, so, oh God, oh my God, that's terrible. So uh, basically it just does a, um, uh, a pull from a website, like a, an API call, and then it parses the data with JSON and then presents it on the screen. Uh, just a little bitty. Uh, it's actually, oh, I can't remember the guy's name. It's someone else's code. And I have massaged it so that it works on my screen. And it was actually a very easy uh, kind of thing. And I'm sorry, but I cannot, I'll, I'll figure out who it is and I'll, I'll post. Okay, bye. So here's a little client, connects to the Wi-Fi, and then it does an HTTPS request using TLS. Um, you know, some sites you have to use HTTPS, and HTTPS is encrypted, which is great. So here it's just connecting to um, kind of like a test site. So it connects, and then, you know, it gets a 200 back, and it spits back this info, and then 10 seconds later, it tries again. So this is just going to house my SSL.com. It's a great little testing uh, location. Yeah, could be useful or is useful in a project because you know sometimes you don't want to send things in the clear or you, you have to use HTTPS. Here's a quick little weather app, piece of code. I love this little TV screen that it does. Um, and then you can see it flickers, unfortunately. Um, I borrowed this code or kind of manipulated somebody else's code and I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description and all the, um, you know, the proper um, acknowledgements. Thank you. It took a second for me to figure that out. Uh, but basically, it's pulling from open weather and just presenting it in this format. Nothing outrageously exciting, but, um, you know, kind of cool. And I really love that initial uh, screen that looks like an old TV. I thought that was a really nice touch. Here it is. Pong. <laughs> Not much more to say. A lot to still to be done to this. Notice when it hits the um, paddles, the number still increases. Also, the paddles turn black where the ball hit it because it draws, you know, a black space over uh, the ball. That's what makes it appear to be moving. So, a couple little things to tweak out. And also, um, it'd be neat. The whole idea is to use uh, potentiometers is controllers, you know, little dials that turn left and right, and that way you'd move your paddle up and down. Um, but it's, you know, this has potential. Here's a little ditty on the Pi Badge. I did not write this, but it's kind of cool, right? Um, the Pi Badge is fun, it's got all the controls, but this is Daft Punk, and I did fiddle with the volume a little bit, but uh, I don't know if you can hear it. It's kind of, huh? If I make the volume too loud, it's just the little mono speaker in the back can't handle it. So it, you know, blinks the LED if you have the, this is the low cost version. If you have the other one, it lights up all the LEDs in like kind of a sound kind of bar. And then this actually has a word cloud coming up, so get ready for it. Hmm.